Greetings from Manipal Hospitals, Baner, Pune. Myself, Dr. Amit Thakoji. I head the neurosurgery department here. So today we learn something about risk factors of brain tumors. As we all know, brain tumors are quite common, a significant concern to the population or the society because they cause significant morbidity. However, because of the current newer techniques in diagnosis as well as newer surgical procedures, most of these patients lead a normal life. So let's understand what are the risk factors for developing brain tumors. So the most important environmental risk factor which is associated with development of brain tumors is ionizing radiation. So those people who are exposed to a high dose of ionizing radiation, for example, atomic bombs or uh, radiation like X-rays or high doses of X-ray radiation like CTs, they develop a high incidence of brain tumors. However, non-ionizing radiations are not associated with increased incidence of brain tumors. The next question which I always get from my patients is, Doctor, we are using a lot of mobile phones, will we develop brain tumors? So there are a lot of studies going on already on this topic and I can confidently say that if you have a long term exposure to mobile phones, that is a radio frequency like radars or microwaves or increased use of mobile phones, maybe after 10 or 12 years, there is slightly increased risk of developing brain tumors. Otherwise, the data doesn't support that increased incidence to mobile phones can lead to brain tumors. So there is slightly increased risk of brain tumors. Then the next most common is dietary intake. So the diet which is high in N-nitrosoamine compounds, for example, tobacco, that is highly associated with increased risk of brain tumors. Similarly, cured meats, they also contain N-nitrosoamine compounds. So we should avoid this kind of diet. But at the same time, if you consume a lot of green vegetables, vitamin C, fruits, so there is a decreased incidence of brain tumor in these people who eat high incidence of uh, high uh, proportion of antioxidants. Then last but not the least, the exposure to alcohol. So alcohol does not lead to increased incidence of brain tumors. If we consider occupational hazard, the agricultural workers are at slightly increased risk because of increased use of pesticides. And the last point I would like to tell is genetic predisposition. So certain population because of alteration of their chromosomes are at increased risk for developing brain tumors. For example, neurofibromatosis or Lee-Fromani syndrome. And these patients have to be screened for development of brain tumors. Thank you so much.